reason I'm here tonight is I'm actually going to be installing a stereo in it. As you can see, there's a little tab there, tab there, well, stickers I should call them. And then in front of those reading lamps up on the roof up there, I don't know if you can see it. There's one up there and one up there. And what I'm going to be doing with those is those are actually have wires behind them and framework for five and a quarter car speakers. And then right here, there's framework behind this panel for a uh, car stereo, which I'm going to take and put in there. And I just got to pull that panel out of there. And all the wires are there. The electricity is there. Everything's ready to go. So we'll see how that works. And I'll be checking back later with some more videos on that. So thanks for watching. Okay, so I took the panel off here. And uh, it looks good in there. This is actually the panel behind the information center there, the monitor. And uh, got to really commend them on this one. Look at the length of this wire. I can actually come down here and almost in my lap work on it. But you got four speaker wires, positive and negative on each, two front, two rear, and one hot and one ground. Very simple. And uh, going around back, the radio is actually going to mount probably about right here, I would say. There's a crossboard, uh, uh, like a one by one, I would call it, and another one here. So it's going to go right in this area. So I'll run a zip in here, and just go up to the edge and carve around it, set her in there. Should look good. Here we go. Okay, back again and uh, still working on the Lance Light with the um, new stereo. So here we go. These are the wire leads coming off of the stereo. Get your front and rear speakers both sides each one has two lines and uh, get them all wired together get that rat's nest tightened up there and that's going to end up getting fed back through there and that's where the stereo is going to go the equipment I bought pile I was a little hesitant to buy pile I've heard good I've heard bad I've heard it's the junk they sell at Walmart and I've also heard that it was a decent brand back in the day Here's why I brought, bought Pile. Pile is one of the only companies out there that makes a price effective, and when I say price effective, I mean under $150 shipped, package with a stereo that still has a conventional CD player for those weird friends of yours that show up with the MP3 CDs and whatnot in their car. And you go, man, I wish we could listen to that song right now. And an auxiliary in a USB, an SD, and RCAs. And it's got subwoofer control, something I'd actually like to add in here, uh, considering I've got a sub at home that runs off an RCA. So you get the stereo, and you also get the speakers. Now, why did I go with Marine? Well, this isn't a boat. I, whatever gets in that deep water, we're all in trouble. So the reason I went with Marine speakers is everything's white and as pretty as some of the silver and black Sony's and Kenwood's and Pioneer's are I just don't think they'd look good in here and legitimate RV speakers don't necessarily sound that great in my opinion and uh, they're just ridiculously expensive so got this whole package for uh, it was $118 shipped four speakers they're all five and a quarters dual cone um, which I know dual cone and two way are not the same thing, but uh, what we're working with in here, we didn't have a stereo before. This is a stereo. Good old, uh, good old Emerson sitting here. So anything's going to be an upgrade from this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, um, progress and vacuuming needed, but I'm making progress. Here's what we've got. The speakers have a round disc of, uh, of uh, wood around them, fiber. And uh, here's one. The wires are just up in there. This chunk of, as you can see, I cut on it. Um, this chunk is under there, only a half of one, kind of weird, but it's kind of round in the shape. Anyways, this disc is in here. Perfect for a five and a quarter speaker. Um, 
you just don't want to go wider than it or you'll be able to see it around the edges which I did that one clean so good job for me on one of them three three more to go but uh here's uh, where things got really hairy hey the stereos in sweet looks nice right well sort of if you cut it to fit um, apparently the holes a little bit bigger behind there than the radio and the problem with that is as you can see you getting know, real tight I had to shim it a little bit and uh, screw the uh, there's a slide case that goes over the radio you slide that in and then you slide the radio into that and uh, I got it on there pretty straight I think but um, there's some marks where and I didn't even go quite all the way to the frame where I uh, got some gaps so what I'm gonna do is get some little quarter quarter round cove um, kind of quarter round oak but reversed I'm going to go around it, and uh, it should match this stuff perfectly. Uh, I just did some in the kitchen at home with one of my buddies, Brett, and he uh, did a great job with that, so maybe I'll be employing his skills for this. shouldn't be too hard. But um, there is framework behind there to nail to also, going all the way around that. The problem is the frame is just slightly bigger than the stereo, which is disappointing, but um, hey, you can't win them all. Nothing that can't be fixed. So, as you can hear, it is running. It's just one speaker. Two more to go in the front. It's uh, 11.30 at night now, and i got to work in the morning. So there we go. That's as far as you get tonight. Check back soon. Yeah, maybe I should have, because I'm not an electrician. I'm surely not a carpenter. All right, well, back again. We're taking a last look here. I finally get the stereo all installed. We're in a little different location this time. I'm out at the uh, out at my place. I uh, took it off the campsite, actually heading out in the morning to Putin Bay for a fishing trip up on the Western Basin and Lake Erie, uh, Sandusky, Cedar Point area. So catching a ferry across to the island, and we're going to go check it out and spend the weekend up there doing some fishing with my buddy Jim and Jeff and a few other people. So anyways, getting back to the stereo. It's a little darker in here now because we uh, well, we don't have any electricity right here. We're running off our batteries. But there are the speakers mounted up, looking good, sounding good. See the other ones up there? And they are uh, just the same. It's not like in the light, though. And the stereo itself, I actually had to put a surround around it to uh, make it fit. This is a surround from another stereo, and uh, makes it quite a bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. It doesn't look bad. Uh, I had to put a little coat of paint on that surround myself, but it worked out pretty good. It's not a bad little CD player. CD, USB, SD card, auxiliary in. It's got a... Uh, control for a subwoofer. It's got another set of line, RCA line in in the back. That's a pretty neat little CD player for uh, 117 bucks for the whole package. Uh, pretty impressed. Pile. Not bad. Heard good, heard bad. Actually, honestly, heard more bad about it, but uh, I always thought it was one of the cheap, like, generic Walmart brands, but uh, it's proved to be pretty decent. We'll see how the durability is, but uh, real happy with the installation kit. It would have been nice if it came with one of those trim plates itself, but that's okay. It ended up looking pretty good. So, uh, one last look at the camper. Heading out. About 3 o'clock tomorrow. Going to be uh, heading out to the jump on the ferry and go across. Got the fridge running. Yeah. That's right, sing it, Merle. Alright, well, clean up my mess now. See you later.